Hi there, and thank you so much for taking your time to actually uh, watch this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I actually do different videos um, on different subjects, um, primarily being personal development, I talk about um, additional ways of earning extra income, and I also talk openly about my mental health, because um, I suffer with OCD. But yeah, I talk about um, a variety of, of different different things, and basically all my videos are trying aimed at helping people in some way shape or form yeah so please if you if after watching this video you um you like the content please consider subscribing now this video is going to be about something which i do which is um uh, really my uh, well one of my main sources of income and that is lead generation it might be that you're looking to earn an additional income um, and obviously yeah it might be that perhaps your job has cut your hours down and you're looking for like an additional means of earning more money but you haven't actually got any money to actually put into it um, what I do um, and what I've done for years and uh, if you've seen it in my earlier videos is I actually um, obtain um, business leads for businesses so it might be that um, I've, that, I, that I approach a company and I actually uh, arrange a deal where I actually arrange to get them a home improvement lead in return for money. Now, what I've done in the past and what I really mainly do now is I actually get leads for a, um, 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 a friend of mine that does double glazing. Now, I also get some landscaping leads and leads, obviously, for other trades as well, which I talk to people as, I, as, I, as I'm promoting my main business. But the purpose of this video is really to make you aware of the, the possibility, if you like, of how you can actually earn some really good um, additional um, money um, from promoting somebody else's business. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know I do online marketing, affiliate affiliate marketing as well, and I and I earn money that way. But what I did initially, and what I've been doing for years uh, before this whole internet thing took off, was actually talking to people cold and getting leads by actually face to face marketing. Now, if you want to earn some extra money. And you don't know, um, and and you're and you're okay at talking to people, um, then I would suggest you that you know um, perhaps um, contact some local home improvement companies in your area, and ask them if they need any help with obtaining leads, because this is a fantastic way of earning money. Yeah, I have been earning money for over 25 years now from actually generating leads for companies where they pay me a commission. Um, to give you an example of the sort of money you can earn, I was working for a window company over 20 years ago. I won't name the name of the company, obviously for legal reasons, but basically I was obtaining leads, I was working stands, leafleting, any way of getting an inquiry for a double glazing lead, people were either giving me their details as I spoke to them, or I was getting a phone call from a from a leaflet and then I was handing that leaf that that lead over and the company at the time were paying me 70 pound just for the inquiry as long as the company got a as long as the people got a quotation for their windows then I would get 70 pound and I did this for years and I'm still doing it now the guy who I'm involved with now he doesn't pay me on the lead he pays me a percentage, which I think is better. Yeah, I get um, ten percent of whatever the deal sells for, and it's obviously it's obviously good money. So think about this as a way of earning um, an additional source of income. It might be that um, see a lot of people they're used to going out working nine to five. They're used to working for an employer. Um, you know, years ago I done architecture and I used to work for I used to work up London and you know my day was nine to five at a board and I was paid an annual salary. But 
And obviously a lot of people, they want that guarantee and I can understand that, yeah? But this video is about really making you aware of, you know, if you haven't got a job, if you want more money, no one's just going to drop it in your hand. Yeah, you've got to go out there and get it. So, you know, there's there are ways, there are companies, you know, there's probably not a, a window company in your area that wouldn't pay you money if you started getting them inquiries. Yeah. So when people say to me about, oh, you know, I haven't got no money or I haven't got this and I haven't got that, whilst obviously I'm um, in some ways empathetic to their, you know, their plight, if you like, I say to them, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, if you haven't got a lot of work, what are you doing to get work? And if you can't do the work yourself, then what are you doing? You know, who are you approaching to see if you can work for yeah, so yeah, I mean, I've spoke about it in other videos, um, where I, when I first started doing this, I was texting people, texting people, texting companies on my, on my phone, just saying that my name's Colin, Colin Mitchell, I live and work in, um, my, you know, in, in whatever area you're in, um, I'm just, uh, approaching you to see if, if I can be of help, uh, to your business, because I obtain business leads, um, I do not charge any fees up front. I work on a strictly commission basis. Is this something that you might be interested in? If so, please contact me. And I had people ringing me up. People texting me back. Yes, I'm interested. And I would do a follow-up call, um, finding out what they do. It might be that they were a plumber or a plasterer doesn't matter what they do, and I would say, right, can I add you to my list of contractors who I can obviously get work for? And most of these people, especially small, small, um, like builders, if you like, like small businesses, they will happily give you 10%. I was getting work for my nephew. My nephew does rendering. I was getting him work when I used to work down Romford. I'd, I would be canvassing for windows, canvassing for everything else and at the same time if people said oh no i'd say well can i ask you do you need any rendering or plastering done and if they said yes i'd take their name and number give it to my nephew and he would pay me 10 percent. honestly lead generation it's not it's not rocket science but it is something which um involves work like i say when i do it i i was work you know i do like um i'll go out for a day um, I live and work in Claxton. I'll go out for a day and I'll take a board in my local town and I'll stand there and I'll talk to people as they walk past me and ask them if they want windows. And if they do, if they do, then I just get their name and number. And if they don't, I say to them, well, can I give you a leaflet anyway? My, my colleague, he also does glazing repairs. Um, and they say, oh, that's fine. That's fine, mate. Yeah, give me a card. And then before they walk away, I say to them, have you got any other home improvements um, planned? Are you thinking about loft conversion, any landscaping? And I kind of go, through, without bombarding them, I go through a list um, in my mind um, of the services that I can help them with that pay me the most money. Yeah? And then if they say, oh, yeah, actually, I am thinking about having me drive done, or I am thinking about having me um, the back of my house painted. And I say to them, can I get one of my my uh, colleagues to contact you because they can arrange a free estimate. Name and number. Name and number. Text it over to the person that I've already made a pre-arrangement with. And then you then obviously say to them, like, oh, you know, keep keep me, uh, um, obviously, uh, let me know what's going on with these leads. You keep the person's name and number. You ask the person that you pass it to what happened. They might say, oh, this one, this one, Colin, it blew out. The geezer weren't, weren't, in, weren't interested. This one, the geezer we've left the quote with. What about that one? Oh, that one, yeah, the geezer's having it. Um, that job's, um, geezer, want, the guy wants a new conservatory roof. Three and a half thousand pound. Three, three and a half hundred pound commission to, uh, commission to me. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is how you do it. It's not rocket science. You've got people on YouTube making a big deal of it. Uh, leaf, you know, um, lead generation, making it making it more complicated than what it really is, right? All it is is you approach somebody, 
yeah, somebody that you know or somebody that you don't know, you can do it via text or phone, yeah, make an arrangement, yeah, um, the person says, yes, I'm happy to do that, I'm happy to give you 10%, hasn't got to be written down, it can be an oral, an oral agreement, and believe me, I've been let down by two people since I've been doing canvassing, I've had two people that, um, if you like, stole a bit of money off of me. But those two people, I don't get them no more work, yeah? You're in control. If it's your, doesn't matter if it's their company, none of that matters, yeah? If you get work for a company like me, when even years ago when I was getting um, leads for a big window company, yeah, I was putting my, my sticky labels with my name and free phone number, uh, my name and free phone uh, number over the top of the company's head office and number. Because I actually had someone ring me up from the company that I work for saying to me, why have you got this label over? And I said to them, because I work, I, I work for this company. And they asked me, they asked me what my, who I was, my name and everything. And I never heard it. I never heard no more about it. So obviously the company realised that I was actually working for them, because this was a big national company. And uh, um, but the reason that was was because I wanted the person phoning me. Every time my phone rang, and somebody wanted soffits, face and guttering, or they wanted a new conservatory, or they wanted new windows, new French doors, that was seventy pound in my bank. Yeah. So the last thing I was going to do was put a card out without my number on it. My mate who I get work for now, down in Claxon, he knows that every time I put a card out or a leaflet out, well, I've actually got my own leaflets now, it's got my number on it, yeah? So this is what you do. Like I say, this is not rocket science. Um, I'm not going to go into online because I've, I've, I've done uh, lead capture pages where I actually um, uh, create companies and actually get leads from websites that I've created. This is a bit more, um, if you've got a bit of money to spend, yeah, then obviously you could create a site, um, create a, I don't know, a site for plastering, you know, a name, and basically collect leads that way. But this is about, um, you know, this video is about if you're, if you're new to it and you want to start making money right away, just find somebody, yeah? I don't know whether you occasionally go for a drink, but... I'm not a great, you know, I used to drink when I was young, but if, you know, if I wanted to meet people, I would go into a local local bar on a, on a Saturday, speak to a few people, you know, where, where, where the builders are, the bricklayers, the plasterers, and, you know, find out, find out who needs work, yeah? Message people, ring people, find out who needs work, yeah? And obviously, if it did come back to you that one of them ain't paid you what they're supposed to, well, then you find another person that offers the same service. It's not, this really ain't rocket science. It's, um, it's a brilliant way. I have made lead generation, making money from home improvement companies, I'd say for the last 25 years, has probably made up 70% of my income, 70, 80% of my actual overall annual incomes and years ago um you know i was working seven days a week just generating leads for a window company for they were they were probably the biggest company um in the uk if i named them you would know what i was talking about yeah and uh some weeks i'd, I'd go in there they'd say oh you've had 10 pitches this week cole 10 pitches 70 pound a pitch or i might have had seven window pitches two conservatory pitches so 10 times 70 and two times 90, because you've got 90 pound for a conservatory lead, yeah? These companies pay big money for these leads because they are gold dust, yeah? Double, uh, uh, somebody who's thinking about having their house double glazed, as far, in my eyes, that went, that, that lead's worth 100 pound, never mind 70. It's worth, if you've got somebody who knows how to sell, it's worth a lot more than that as well. Because, you know, the average order value Average order value now for um, a home improvement double glazing, average order value is four and a half grand. Yeah, so they're spending a hundred or they're spending seventy pound to bring to bring in four and a half grand 
Well, that's a no-brainer. You do it every day of the week. Um, I hope this helps. Please consider subscribing if you found this video to um, um, be of help and hopefully inspiring. Yeah, if you ain't got no money, you know, do your best to do something about it. Your situation's only going to improve if you make it improve, yeah? I've had times in my life when I've been really on the floor and uh, um, I've had to pick myself up and tell myself that everything's going to be okay and that I'm going to make it okay. So, yeah, think about, you know, if you're working, um, I don't know, 20 hours a week and you're working in a, in a supermarket and then you're sitting indoors for another... 30 hours worrying about money well the idea of this video is to tell you you haven't got to worry about money if you can apply yourself and do what i do yeah um making this video today it's father's day i'm going out with my family later but you know if today was a saturday um um saying that i do i often on a sunday go out just putting my cards out i'll, I'll go and do all the car parks yeah you can always be sowing the seed Sowing the seed, um, sowing seeds of victory, I suppose. Sowing, sowing your seeds to make your life greater and to start earning more money, yeah? Putting a leaflet in someone's hand, speaking to someone, putting a, putting a leaflet through a door, yeah? Every time you do that, you are creating opportunity. And if you're not creating opportunity or if you're sitting indoors worrying about money, you need to start putting some of these some of these things that I'm talking about into play, because there ain't no reason to not have money, not in this day and age. Yeah, um, I know. Obviously, you might think, "Oh, yeah, mate," but I'm, I'm I don't do marketing. I don't know about that. You've got to, you know, if you if you choose to take the routes that I've taken, you've got to start learning. Start learning about different methods. Start learning different ways. Yeah. I talk about um, I, 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 I'm, I uh, make money um, affiliate marketing. It's something I've been learning, and uh, um, actually, I'll leave a link to a business that I'm involved with below, where I can actually just promote one funnel, one one marketing funnel, and if I can bring people in through that funnel, then they and me can earn money together. So it's all about activity, yeah. It's all about it's all about activity, yeah. Asking, ask, ask, ask. You know, I asked, I spoke about in another video about you know, you could be the ugliest guy in the world if you asked a hundred girls to dance, one of them would say yes, and that is the same with canvassing, yeah. Canvassing, talking to people, marketing is the person that asks the most question, yeah. The most, um, you know, can I interest you? Can I hand you a leaflet? Would you be interested in having new windows? Or whatever service you're providing. The person that asks that question the most times will inevitably be the person that earns the most money. Yeah, I honestly believe that. I know that when I look back at my life and I look at the days that I went out working and how much money I earned in that week, um, it was all directly um, in ratio to the amount of leads I put in. If I put in 15 leads, I might have earned 600, 700 pound. If I only put in half that, I'd have only earned half that because it kind of evens itself out. But if you want to earn another 100, 200 pound a week, making that from um, just generating leads for home improvement companies is very very simple yeah you just need to apply yourself learn about lead generation yeah watch some of my other videos and start applying yourself yeah especially now making this we're entering like you know it's like the sunny days the weather's brighter you can get out more yeah it's a lot easier and obviously trying to do it over christmas people don't want to talk to you about home improvements and all that but saying that in the past I still used to go out over Christmas and say to people, would it be okay if we phoned you in the new year? That's fine, mate. Let us get Christmas out of the way and, and we'll ring and, and ring me in the new year. 10th of January, I used to start going through my list, ringing them up, making appointments. Yeah, getting my 70 pounds. This is what you need to start doing. Apply yourself. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing. Remember, I do videos on um, my mental health, 
positive, mo uh, positive um, attitude, motivation. I do videos about affiliate marketing. Yeah, I don't just make money um, the old ways, what I call talking to people cold. I also do it um, online as well, yeah. So please, yeah, please check out my channel. And uh, if you need a bit of motivation, a bit of stimulation, a bit of moving forward, hopefully some of my videos will help you. And thank you, like I say, if you've come to the end of my video, um, um, I really do appreciate it. Um, often, obviously, people click off um, for whatever reason. But if you're here to the end, I really appreciate your view. And I would really appreciate your um, subscription to my channel. Thank you so much and good luck in your endeavours, whatever you try and do. Be positive and move forward.